Everyone knows or has heard stories of loved ones becoming afflicted by this disease. It has captured the minds of 5.7 million people in the United States alone, becoming the sixth leading cause of death. This disease is Alzheimer's. First things first, what is Alzheimer's? Simply put, it is the death of neurons in the frontal lobe that contain the famous neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Neurotransmitter's job is to send messages to the brain through neurons. With an absent or malfunctioning neurotransmitter, we would not be able to store even the smallest daily tasks such as the last meal we ate in our long-term memory. To continue, we must understand what acetylcholine actually is. Acetylcholine is a chemical located in the synapse at the end of a neuron where there is a small gap between the nerve cells. When released from the presynaptic neuron, the neuron that releases acetylcholine, it becomes a bridge responsible for pushing messages along or blocking them from reaching the postsynaptic neuron. It is typically associated with muscle activity, learning, and our short-term or working memory. The problem that faces doctors in Alzheimer's patients is the low levels in the acetylcholine chemical. Although there isn't a definite cure, there are a couple solutions to help slow the process. The first includes introducing more acetylcholine to the body through medication. The second is to stop acetylcholine esterase. This is an enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine, typically when the body makes too much. However, there is no way to give acetylcholine directly because acetylcholine is not able to cross the blood-brain barrier, the filter that keeps unwanted substances out of our brain and keeps the good stuff in. That means the best way seems to be to stop acetylcholine esterase. That is why drugs such as Aricept are used in the treatment of Alzheimer's, because they are capable of passing the blood-brain barrier, inhibiting the enzyme that degrades acetylcholine. Although this slows the progression of the disease, it does not altogether diminish it. In the future, when the true cause of Alzheimer's is known, the next step would be finding a drug capable of crossing the blood-brain barrier. This would provide a true cure for the disease.